So, welcome. I'm going to play the games a summer edition from Epix. So I've already played summer games. I was going to play summer games too, but the discs are giving me issues. Sometimes they load, sometimes they don't, sometimes you play some of the events and then it fails, so jumping up to the game Summer Edition, which came out in 1988, four years after the first Summer Games, and this one has the official Olympics license. You can see there's eight events on screen. You can play them individually from here. We can go to the, the menu and play in some events, as far as the, you know, the competition. The other ones are mostly just practice if you click on them. These are compete in all events, compete in some events. View the world records, opening ceremonies again, and change names. So, under the names, it'll save what you set up. So, that's me. I'm just going to leave it as is, but there's 18 nations to choose from. This doesn't matter as much what you choose because you don't actually see the flags anywhere in the game and you only hear the music during the closing ceremonies if you're the top, you know, the winning athlete. So... It's not like the old games where you, you hear the anthem after every event if you're the gold medal winner. I'm going to compete in all events. We'll look at the world records at the end of the video. After you see, kind of get an idea of what there is. And these load somewhat fast, but I'll, I'll do some editing to make it even faster. So don't expect anything amazing. I used to play these games a lot. But that was like 30 years ago. <laughs> so, okay, so you can adjust that little wheel under the board. I assume it gives you more height. The scores are just all over the place. Perfect 10, <laughs> but as low as a 6.4. You get three dives. I just don't know if it matters where you put that wheel. Like, is there a benefit to having it more forward? Oh, I didn't. The time straighten them out. There you go from a zero to a five. Let me just adjust the wheel a bit. Uh, yeah, I'm not getting straightened out. You don't have a lot of time. Remember, for summer games, the board's up high, and there's quite a bit of time. I know my world record is 285, so 300 would be perfect. This event is very straightforward. You just press up to speed up, and down to slow down left right to steer but you really hardly have to steer so on the red jersey computer is just there to pace or offer slipstream if you want to ride behind him the noise you hear like when it's going that's somebody like drifting so the computer is drifting behind me Probably just gonna pass when I get to the last lap. I'll try to anyway. Obviously, these graphics are quite a bit more advanced than the Summer Games, and even the Summer Games 2 doesn't look too much different than the first. Okay, it's the final lap. Is my world record is something like much higher? I don't know. 
there's something different if you're playing with more players. I don't know. It's weird because I swear the world record says like 19 something. So this event, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. The program will probably be very short as I'll dismount very early. So I don't know how to stop that. The whole flow chart to this. I'm just gonna like, tap the D-pad around to, to move and see what happens. Well, it's going on for a little while at least. For what I've been practicing, that's actually my best performance <laughs> yet. I don't, I've never got a perfect score on this either. I don't completely understand this one. You just gotta like go back and forth. Hopefully not fall off. I've fallen off sometimes, completed sometimes, I don't know. And <laughs> fell flat on his face. Well, I don't care. <laughs> oh, I mean, I could redo it later. I just want to see him dismount, but it's not any different. He just still disappears from the screen. He either stands on his feet or falls on his face. And I'd say this is my favorite event, but. During practice, I've been messing it up. It's all about when to release. There's like three humorous failures, one in particular. So, spin around as fast as you can. Playing with a gamepad, which might be a little harder than using a joystick. Then you got trigger to start moving. Oh, look at that. First try, I threw it. Not sure if that's good. The record is 80 something. But I keep getting around 79 on all my practices today. So if you fail, sometimes the person throws the hammer through the fence, sometimes straight at the screen. And if you don't let go, <laughs> you take off. Look at that, two good throws. I haven't flopped yet. Looks okay. I'm gonna intentionally fail this last one. I'm not gonna let go of the hammer so you can see them take off. <laughs> I think that's pretty good. It's good to not always be so serious. Throw a little humor in. So here it's possible to trip, fall down, and just instantly end. Hopefully I won't do that. I think if you keep enough speed... Ah, oh, there I go. Flopped. <laughs> uh, ouch. Pole vault is tough for me <laughs> with my struggle in the summer games video, and I think it's harder here. It requires a bit more precision. First, you gotta build up speed by timing the joystick, or in this case, gamepad movement, with the character's feet. I think I messed it up.
I did it. Nice. This is the event they get most excited about. You get a little flip, you get fireworks. Okay, I'll raise it a bit, but hey, at least I got over once. I don't care if it's the lowest setting. Going kind of slow. Well, I cleared it once. That's good enough for me. Right, this is the easiest event. I like I like archery. I like this event, but it's just very simplistic. I mean, I guess there's only so much you can do. So we draw back, then just aim. The main thing here is to watch the wind. See that wind sock moving around. You get 90 seconds for three shots. Nine is the highest you can get on a single shot, so that's the best. The world record is perfect, three nine shots, there's really not much to it. I could intentionally miss, I don't know actually what happens if you have a really bad shot. Maybe on my last shot I'll aim completely away from the target and see if it does anything. Wait, that wind is strong. Here, let me just do it now, I'll shoot way over here. Yeah, it just makes a noise. I'm not entirely sure how the wind's going to affect it. Usually just wait for it to die down. Yeah, another nine. We were at the closing ceremony, so I'm just going to stop talking. It takes you know, a little while. It's, oh, it's, it's a little long like the opening. You get a bunch of little photographs. And the music. Alright, so let's take a look at the world records, which are all mine. I'm not sure anyone else has ever played this, this copy of the game. So, the diving's pretty good. Yeah, the velodrome, I don't understand. I keep getting like 11, 12 on the, today, and then the record is 17.54. I must be overlooking something. And uneven bars and rings. I don't think I ever really figured out rings. Very close to my best hammer throw. Hurdles I flopped on. Pole vault I made pretty high. Archery, perfect. So before I end the video, let me load up hurdles. Let me do that through here, because here you can just keep repeating. 
if you fail, you know, it just offers you want to play again and again. It's mostly like practice. Oh, I was going going so perfect. Trailer is probably noisy, but I can only do so much I'm trying to move a gamepad back and forth with my thumb. Hey, finished. Alright, thanks for watching.